1 million views. Are you serious, guys? Pouring water into tarantulas water dishes got 1 million views? That's unbelievable. That's awesome. So since that video got a million views and a lot of you asked for another one, here is watering my tarantulas part 2. Okay, so before we start this video, I just want to mention that I have created a Patreon page. So if you guys feel like you want to support this channel even more and want to be a Patreon, just click the link that is over here and it will direct you straight to the Patreon page. It's just an additional option there if you guys feel like you want to support that way. But just watching my videos is... I'm really thankful for it, so... Thank you. But yeah, without further ado, let's start what you guys came here for. So first off, we're gonna have to fill up this bottle. Okay, so first one we're gonna do is my Arizona Blonde. By the way, I did a video on me rehousing this girl into this enclosure, but I'll upload that in a few days time. There she is. So now let's fill up her water bowl. So I'm gonna take the dirty water dish and dump it into this container so I can wash it later. And then in this cabinet, I have like a whole stack of brand new deli cups. This is gonna make work so much quicker. And since you guys love the sound of water so much, <laughs> there you guys go. We are now moving to the star of last watering video. This is the Hapopalma Minex, the Thailand Black. And as you can see, she's already guarding her water dish, so let's see how she reacts today. So she decided to spread out her legs, and now I'm scared. <laughs> oh my goodness. I didn't even do anything. I was just talking and look at her. Seriously. Oh my goodness, she's still crazy as ever. Imagine if I take a water dish, what she's gonna do. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Why do you want to kill me so much? Come on! You seriously hate me that much? Oh my goodness! Dude! <laughs> you never changed from first video, huh? Still the same old, same old spider. Now let go! Thank you! Oh my... Ugh. Why do you do this to me? I'm just doing something that benefits you, come on! Here's a clean water bowl. Don't kill me. Are you serious? Come on. Calm down. I'm not gonna go near for you guys to hear the water because look at her attitude. Oh, seriously girl. You need some anger management classes. This is the face of evil. Look at those eyes staring right into my soul. Oh, I swear. Every time I open this girl's enclosure to clean her water, my heart beats like 170 beats per minute. Kilo Brachis Kane Krichan, the Dark Earth Tiger. Okay, you better behave. Okay, good. Look how fat this girl is. Okay, here goes. Oh, okay. Another one that makes my heart beat 170 beats per minute. The Kilobrachis andersoni, the Burmese mustard. Oh look, my skeleton's out. Behave. Behave. Oh my goodness. Oh, come on girl. Behave. I just... Oh. I, I don't know. I don't know what to say. I can't say anything now. This is just part of the fun. For, oh, <laughs> part of the fun of keeping these guys. Oh, come on! Are you serious? Let go! Leave it at the corner! Why are you always so pissed off? It's just water, come on! Appreciate it! I'll have to enroll you and the Haplopelma Minex for anger management classes. Ornithoctonus aureotibialis, Thailand Golden Fringe. Can't see her, just like last video, because she is inside this burrow. So not sure if you can see her, but there's her legs, there's her body. My gorgeous Ceratogyrus darlingi, the rare horned baboon. At least you're in a good mood, are you? Yep. King baboons, 
the most fun species to keep. You can't see anything, no burrow entrances, nothing. But if you look under, hey, what's going on? Like what's up with my vinegroom? It decided to like dig a hole inside. Hmm. Oh, last video you didn't see my H. maculata, but this video, there she is. This is Sericopelma rubronitans, the Panama red rump. Yep, at least this one didn't fight back. You back off, that's right. I'm so glad that I added this pipe for my cobalt blue. Because if not, she won't be down there. She'll be out and about and I will have difficulties changing the water dish as well. This one's going to be a little bit scary as well. This is the Kilobrachis Wahini, the Asian fawn. Okay, deep breath. Wish me luck, guys. Oh, uh, <laughs> no, please, please, I beg of you. Don't kill me. Now this is why keeping, oh my goodness. Every time I want to say keeping old worlds are fun, they just try to kill me. But yeah, it's quite fun. Look at that face. <laughs> Why is my skeleton always hiding? Come on, we want to see you. <sighs> oh well. A happy tarantula is a hiding tarantula. Oosh, check on my M. Balfouri. Gorgeous. Hopefully his attitude will be gorgeous as well. <laughs> yes. Oh my goodness, I almost dropped this thing. Tapinakinius gigas, the orange chevron. Let's see if she'll show herself. Oh my god, nope, okay. <laughs> yep, big mistake. Okay, this one. Remember guys, Lord have mercy. Yep, it's time for Lord to have mercy on me. Whew, I am nervous. Look at her, she's just staring and just patiently waiting to want to eat me. Okay, time to bite the bullet and go in. Oh no, okay. Come on girl. Please, don't do this. Don't do this. Oh, why? You guys, seriously. Look at her, just mocking me over there. Lord, you're supposed to have mercy on me. Come on. <sighs> okay, I'm glad that one's over. Okay, I touched the enclosure and my H. maculata ran in like I said earlier, but it's okay, at least you guys saw her. The good thing is my 5.5 inch OBT, I paired her with my friend's male, so she has sealed herself in there. Hopefully there's an egg sac, but yeah, I'm able to do the water dish. <laughs> All right, just like that day, crazy row, done. Okay, this is the Grandma Stola Eringi, the entry rios, this one should be okay. Um, um, okay, I just said that you'll be okay, and you pounced on me. Come on. Afonopelma Simani, Costa Rican Zebra. Thanks for behaving, I really appreciate it. Here's my Grandma Stola Pulcra, the Brazilian Black. Oh shoot, my grandma stole a pottery in molt. Awesome! No wonder she didn't want to eat. It's okay, this is good. Now she can have fresh water after she molts. Check out the white fangs. Pretty cool. And that is why you don't feed your tarantulas right after a molt, because their fangs are like really soft. It's supposed to be black, but their fangs are like transparent now. Here's my smaller grandma stole a pottery. And my Terranopelma sesimai, the Brazilian blue. No, give me the water dish. Come on, thank you. What are you doing? Get in, no. No! Get in. There you go. Here's my Acanthoscuria geniculata, the Brazilian white knee. Very calm today, I'm surprised. I spoke too soon. <laughs> 
Oh my goodness. Oh, my P. Lugardi is out, guys. Finally. She's usually in the burrow. Oh, come on, phone. Really? Really at this time? And then as soon as I touch the enclosure, she's gonna go in. Um. Oh, thankfully not. There she is. Sweet. Look at that beauty. Finally, I see her out. Now, this is a must-have species. Well, since she's out, I hope she'll let me take a water dish. Yeah. These guys are not so aggressive. They're more shy. So as you can see, yeah, just tapped her on the butt and she went in. Ooh, my pumpkin patch is out as well. Awesome. Showing her butt at me. Wow. Oh, I guess she heard me. <laughs> Another crazy species. This is the Selena Cosmia javanensis. The javan yellow knee. But looks like this one's more shy. Nando Carapoensis, the Brazilian red. Davis Pantalores, the Guatemalan tiger rump. Neoholotheli Inse, Trinidad olive. I did an unboxing of this girl, but I haven't uploaded it yet, probably in a few days, but this is the Gramastola rosea, red color form. I know you guys like cobalt blues, well the other one was in the pipe, but this one is out now, so there you go, wash your eyes, there's some beauty right there. I'm not going to take out this bottle cap to clean, just going to pour the water in, because it's stuck to the web, so yeah, don't want to destroy the web, because that's going to make her pissed off. You don't want to make a cobalt blue pissed off. Well, since it's pretty rare to see these guys out, let's just give her a feed since she's already out. Whoa, 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 whoa. What a gentle attack. Wow. Oh, okay. Calm down. Just taking a video. In here is a Philippine tangerine, but you can't see her, so... Just fill out a water dish. Chocolate golden knee. Gramostola polka piece. And another one. Look at what this clown did to its water dish. Yeah, you've come to show me what you did to your water dish, huh? Brilliant. Now, what do you, what do you want me to do with it, huh? See? What? There's a super worm pupa in here. <laughs> what? Go in there. No, you're not going to do that again. Just drink from it. Don't tip it over, come on. Let's feed this pupa to my Bomi. Look at her, she wants it. There we go. So this is an Acanthoscoria chacuana, the Bolivian pink. Quite a nice looking tea. Nandu tripepi, the Brazilian giant blonde. This is my Lassiodora klugi, the Bahia scarlet. Let's give her a worm. There we go. Good girl. That's your reward for behaving. Here's another Cantuscuria geniculata. Hey, go drink your water. Oh yeah, you guys were asking for an update of my Huntsman Spider and when I'm gonna rehouse her. Well, as you can see, she is well overdue for a rehouse, but I keep procrastinating cause, yeah, it's creepy, man. Not looking forward for the rehouse. Pakistopelma bromelicola. Okay, so now we have two Histrocrates gigas, the Cameroon Red Baboon. These guys are pretty skittish, as you can see. The other one's like under her burrow, so yep, good thing she's not out, otherwise I'll have, I may have problems. Because these guys can be pretty defensive if they want to. And they get about 8 inches in leg span, which is huge for a baboon. So guys, that'll be it for watering my tarantulas part 2. If you liked it, thumbs it up. I have already enabled the user ratings for the video, so you can now thumbs up and thumbs down. If you are new to this channel and you like what you just saw, 
subscribe and hit that bell icon so you'll know when I post again in the future. So yeah, thank you guys for watching and I will catch you guys in the next video.